Hey there and welcome back to my channel! My name's Georgina, I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day, every day, when I'm not making videos like this one. And as always, if you want to work with me, if you want me to critique your voice, all the links are down below. So in today's video, it's that time guys, it's that time where 2021 is ending and tomorrow is going to be 2022, which is a whole new year, literally I know it's like one sleep, uh, and how one night can change so much, who knows, but it's that time, I want to recap some of the best albums and the notable singles from 2021. As you know, it's been a very busy year. We've had so much new music this year. It's obviously been a lot more tricky than normal with the fact that there's been COVID, which has made a big difference to everyone's plans like tours being cancelled here there and everywhere music being delayed films being delayed theaters closing there's been so much just difficulty for everyone but we've tried our best so let me list some of my favorite albums from this year and i'm probably gonna miss the odd one so if i do i apologize and some notable singles that i've covered on my new music fridays that i think have kind of defined the year of music so let's dive into the albums first <laughs> Okay, so Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran made a massive comeback this year. He had a little bit of a like a Christmas thing last year, which we thought, oh, the album's coming. It didn't. And he delayed it through and he's released it this year. And it is an awesome album. You got Shiver on there and Bad Habit, which was the first single back. The videos are brilliant. I particularly like that nice contemporary feel that the albums have, that the album has and it has a sort of mixture of genres on there. My bad habits lead to late night, sitting alone. Oh, this is good! That, that beat that kicks in and the way he suddenly takes off. This is great! His use of Chester head voice transitions and his mix there, stunning! I think I'm going to be loving this one. Next one is Taylor Swift, of course. Taylor Swift, as we all know, is doing her old albums again. She's re-recording. Uh, let's not get into the drama of that, but Taylor Swift has had to re-record quite a lot of her old albums, which I think is a genius move. Genius move. And she's even going back to the looks and literally everything she's going back to and kind of reliving it again. So this year we had Fearless and also Red Brackets. Taylor's version, which included All Too Well, which was the 10 minute version of the song, which has this like iconic video that came out not long ago. Oh, okay. The big one of this year, well, big two, two, I think, big two, uh, is 30 by Adele and Voyage Abba two huge albums. I mean, ABBA have been away for so long and they've come back with the best album ever. It's one of my favourites uh, and I think it's a wonderful album. Uh, it has a real flow throughout it and it feels nostalgic and it's just ABBA. And I see another me, I'd be and Adele's 30, where do you possibly start? It does have bops on it, I know. I've always moaned about whether it's got the bops, but it's definitely got bops on there. I think my favorite song currently is I Drink Wine. I think it's a life lesson type of song and easy on me. I even did my own cover. I thought it was such an iconic comeback song. Oh. Easy on me, baby. 
So we can't go through 2021 without mentioning Billie Eilish. But Billie Eilish, happier than ever. Brand new album. Some have said, is this Billie's flop era? I disagree. I think it's an excellent album. It's maybe a little bit more subdued than the last one. It's a little bit more experimental, but still some great music on it. I'm happier than ever. Wish I could explain it. Where's this water coming from? Positions, of course, Ariana Grande came out this year. And it had some really great songs. Now, my personal opinion is that I didn't think it was as strong as her last album, but that's because I'm not a huge R&B fan. And I think she's definitely gone that way with this particular album. I think my favourite song off there was Hair, purely because of the incredible vocals on it. Her vocals at the moment, she's absolutely in her prime. So next we move on to Steps. I was so lucky to go and see Steps this year. It was an incredible concert and there was no Faye. Faye had COVID at the time. And then believe it or not, I think Lee had COVID, so he was off. How they possibly managed to keep the show together, I have no idea, but they did their very best. And it was a great show and I really enjoyed the album. And it's part two to the previous album. And the songs are great. It's definitely Steps. And who doesn't need a little bit of just cheesy pop with all the dance moves involved. It wouldn't be right if I didn't mention Little Mix at this point. Little Mix released their greatest hits album, which included, included, included five new singles. It's pretty epic is the album, and there's been quite a lot of drama in the Little Mix camp with Jessie leaving, and then this new album coming out without Jessie on it, the fact that the girls were pregnant, and we've now got a little, little mix. Hopefully we'll have a band in the future with the baby, so we've had that going on but I just thought having a greatest hits with five new songs on was a really really good idea and a final sort of not a goodbye forever but a, I'm gonna have a break we'll be back in a couple of years we've done 10 years celebration and I, I think they've had a great year I want to move on to the notable singles that I just, they kind of defined my 2021 or 2021, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah, so this is no particular order of list. So first one, Between Us by Little Mix. The reason for this is because it's their sort of goodbye song, almost like, you know, the last one from the Spice Girls or the last one from Take That, as we knew that there was somebody left, a member had left, and it was now a case of what do we do next? Are we going to have a break? Are we going to split up? What's happening? And it felt very much like a, a sort of bon voyage for a little while while and we will be back and celebrating what they'd achieved together and I think it's it's a beautiful single so easy on me is my next one by Adele and it's just the greatest comeback ever the concept of the video the fact that it relates to other version other songs that she's already done the video has a similarity to hello for example uh, and i just thought that vocally it was better than she'd ever done before it's really hard mind you trying to sing easy on me uh, and it was an epic comeback i just brilliant adele thank you so much for coming back Silence, baby, and me. Right, that leads me to the next one. Thank you from Diana Ross. Now, this album didn't really do massive in the UK that I'm aware of, but this is Diana Ross, the Diana Ross. I am a massive Motown fan, and Diana Ross is an absolute queen. And her single, Thank You, kind of defined some of the months in my year. Just that song just doesn't stop me. It just I smile when I hear that song. It's like a warm hug and it's just lovely. I love it. I 
So I've got two more singles that are particularly notable for me in 2021. And that's Don't Shut Me Down from ABBA, because that was kind of my favourite so far. Uh, I did appreciate the first song. It felt like a sort of epic comeback song to appreciate everything that they'd been together and did they still have it in them and all of that. But I don't know what it is, but as soon as Don't Shut Me Down came out, it was like, this is ABBA. This is the ABBA that I remember, but also fresh, a new twist, a new era on ABBA. Brilliant. And finally, I want to mention Boys by Jesse Nelson. Now, this one has created a lot of of drama this year and I'm not talking about it because of the drama I'm simply talking about it because it has been a song that's been stuck in my head I keep re-listening to it every so often thinking do you know what she's done okay she's come out of Little Mix and she's got this brand new single and you know good on her I think she's done a cracking job uh, and good luck to her for the next single which apparently is going to be Heartbreak Hotel which I would think now will be out in 2022 So that is my notable singles for 2021 and all of my fave albums. There's been plenty more that have come out this year, but if I sat and went through everything, it would take a quite a long time. So I've just put all the ones that have meant the most to me that I've kind of noticed the most in my life. So who will it be next year? Who's going to be the big one if we've got brand new albums coming from different people? It's Ooh, there's so many sort of rumours of who are coming back with brand new albums this year. So it's going to be an exciting year for new music. I do hope that more gigs can actually happen, more theatre shows can happen, and we can get back to some kind of normal life next year. But we should celebrate all the music that we've had in 2021. And let me know which ones are you still listening to? Which ones do you keep going back to from this year? And which ones did you absolutely hate what songs were you like wow oh my goodness this is so not for me let me know in the comments below so thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed this it's been really nice to do this kind of nostalgic recap and i'll see you in 2022 bye loves